they hold very firm to their tradition and that is truly what I enjoy most because the family unit, the family structure is something that I personally did not experience in my upbringing. I'm Vanessa Canby and in this video I'm going to bring you a day in the life of ES who lives in northern Ghana in Tamale. She moved from America to Tamale quite recently and she also was traveling around different areas of Africa. But I'm so excited to bring you a day in her life in Ghana because she's one of my favorite YouTubers. Hello everyone, I am ES from Eat Love Migrate channel. Good morning. <laughs> I'm here in a place called Tamale, a very mysterious, it's not a vacation sort of place. I'm here filming and working on a project called Bantu Micro Village. It is not official yet, it's just something that I came up with because when I was in the eastern region of Ghana, a uh, queen mother of the Juwa Bing, she gave me the name Bansu. And so the Bansu is interpreted in the Akan language as being a whale, a big fish in the sea. And so um, I wanted to create something that invites everyone to come and learn about indigenous spiritual systems, the history, everything that you can experience with the Dagban culture or within the northern region because there are many other tribes that are related to the Dagban or many of you may know them as the Dagomba. So um, I'm here living with them. It has been about maybe six to seven months where I've been here just straight working on the project. It has been a phenomenal experience. It is not a vacation, but it is very educational, very medicinal, and the experience has been off the chain. Nothing glamorous at all about my experience. It's just not. It's just the real deal holy feel. Because my whole approach to coming here was to learn about tradition and things that happened throughout the times of slavery, which has resulted in this mass divide of people, but you know, still informing others of the medicinal practices which are still practiced to this day that are open to those who come from these different lineages that were dispersed many, many years ago. So I'm here building so people can have places to stay. The motions of my life are fairly basic right at this time there is a pandemic going on so it's not very glamorous for me i mean wearing masks <laughs> you know that's very difficult going towards accra um i do spend some time in accra to handle business for the project but um for the most part i try to take it easy but as of late i had to go and enjoy myself you know get my nails done just to feel like a girl again and it was so magnificent look at me look at me <laughs> All right, so she's gonna give me a pedicure now because it's been a while. Yeah, everything is about the project, going out there, watering my plants, managing the guys with regards to what's going on. There's been a lot of ups and downs, which you'll see with regards to, you know, the men not doing proper measurements right, um, to having creative ideas that are not necessarily met. You know, it's a lot that goes into building up here in the North, dealing with indigenous people. It's not like just hiring a contractor, you know, it's on a whole nother level. Okay. Who sells the popcorn? Popcorn, fifty pesos. Okay. One, two, so two. Uh oh. Two CDs worth. Two CDs. So ladies just walk around and they sell different items. Look at this little. Go. It's new. I'm not your mama. Usually I get up in the morning, get dressed, have breakfast, and um, sometimes I might respond to emails depending on if I have anything to do at the land. Uh, this morning I'm waiting on a phone call with regards to the carpenters and the project that they're currently working on. So until then I'll just respond to Patreon, uh, new members of Patreon, just thank them for supporting the project. My cat likes fried egg, but I can't just, it can't just be like a a basic fried egg. It has to have like a little African spice, a little salt. Yeah, she actually enjoys um, like this thing called fula. It's from the village. It's used for spiritual purposes. It's really tasty though, but she's used to a, a village style of um, food because that's where they brought her to me from. A bit of that before we make my protein shake. You guys think this is a game? I'm serious. She likes albacore. 
you know, and just uh, a tuna. She's such a Ghanaian cat. She's so adorable though, I love her. Her name is Juju. She's looking for the food, like she sees it. Time for the food, yeah? It's, stop playing around, lady, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> community house it's a family house but there's approximately 11 apartments and the owner is currently building uh, another guest home and there's going to be approximately 11 or 12 but it's going to be a guest house this is a family house and so um it's a good experience <laughs> oh it's pink i don't like pink food <laughs> There she goes. I'm ready to work, of course. A little goat for him. I think that he's being sold. They've been working on the second floor of the outdoor, um, the outdoor kitchen. So we have to buy some more wood to finish everything up. We're gonna close it out with more of the roofing sheets. I think it looks pretty cool. Can't wait till it's all finished. So it looks like our window guys have arrived with the frames. So we'll see what happens with that. The downstairs area is pretty much done as far as the kitchen is concerned, but we're gonna build the wall up all around. The delegation of security has spoken. Just come up briefly, still working. This will be all fenced in. What's up? What were you suggesting? Why does he have this little, why he always building little steps right there? Look at this little step. Nobody's foot is that small, unless it's a job. I was telling him that from this place. There, there should be a fence all the way, exactly. And then the fence that goes all the way. The fence that put you was That, exactly. <laughs> What's up with that space like that? Huh? What's up with there being so much space like that? Let them fix it? Okay. Let them fix. a fried egg that Ayoko made for us. He made one with bread for himself, but we have a guest here who ate all of the food. <laughs> I exhaust mine. <laughs> He's said he exhausted. So yeah, just simple. Yep. <laughs> Living in Tamale has been quite a unique experience. It's something that I have never experienced in all of my life, but I came with purpose. Um, it had to do with learning about tradition, giving my thank yous to the things that the elders have actually um, presented to me and taught me throughout the years while I was in America. So um, it's, it's very different than anything you ever experience if you have ever, well, excuse me, for those who have never um, lived with indigenous people. And they're very, they're just so hospitable and, and just very nice and sharp, you know, and they hold very firm to their tradition. And that is truly what I enjoy most because the family unit, the family structure is something that I personally did not experience in my upbringing. They have something which they call the extended family practice. And pretty much they marry, they intermingle, you know, everyone is a relative for the most part. And um, it keeps them very strong and very bind it together. Um, for me, being a an so-called outsider or a foreigner, they don't treat me like a foreigner, per se, not up here. Mm -mm, nah. Um, because I've been here for so long, I've been learning the language, and it's just been, it's something that I'll never forget. <laughs> That's fine. Nah.
carbayo a la fe bene to be real thank you empire <laughs> okay <laughs> so it's empire <laughs> So, um, yeah, it's a lot of um, things that you'll learn here through the language. Oh, gosh, studying the language is so phenomenal because they're very engaging with it and very open to helping you, you know, because they know that you're not from the land. I just really dig it. So, yeah, that's it. It's eatlovemigrate.com and you'll click on Bansu Micro Village. You'll learn more about what this project is all about. So, um, it has been quite fascinating, but you can catch more on my channel at Eat Love Migrate if you are interested in such. And also, we have a Patreon account at Eat Love Migrate where you can have a closer look of daily videos that are posted with regards to the project. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'm so grateful to ES for sharing her experience in Tamale with us. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can see more videos and press the bell so that you're notified when I upload a new video. Thanks so much. See you later.